This is uh, Spectrum Power Supply and I've been testing it and it looks like it's this capacitor that's at fault. Put it in my test thingy. reading as a resistor so that's not good for capacitor so I've got here an old Amiga power supply that doesn't work properly so I'm going to take one of these capacitors off this which are the same value over what it should be. Well, we could probably 
just giving this one a go. So this capacitor needs to go in here. Like so. The negative is this side. shrink on here so I'll get this in the right place Bit. 
swing over there and there's a, a knot in the cable just there so stop it coming out okay I'll just put it back together so I'll put the power supply back together so we'll just give it another test to make sure it still works now put it back together so spectrums are positive uh, negative centre and uh, here we go, can you see that? Oops. Needs 12 volts. But it will need 9 volts on the load. So, a bit of a tidy up and I'll be back. Okay, I've just uh, wired it up to this spectrum. This spectrum's got a fault anyway, but I can show you that the power supply is actually working. See, we're getting all strange patterns on the screen. 